second case of the same situation, we have a little boy and grandma on an ice rink. Uh, in this case, uh, the boy is moving at 5 meters per second, and the grandma is moving in the same direction as the boy, but at 3 meters per second. So basically the boy is going to catch up with the grandma, and he's going to grab onto her from, the, from behind, and then together they are they're going to continue to move, of course, in the same direction. The question is, how, fa how fast what will be their uh, speed as they continue to move together after the collision? So again, we're, we're uh, saying that there's no outside forces acting in here. Uh, in that system, the momentum is conserved. So momentum before the collision is going to be equal to the total momentum after the collision. Um, when we substitute the values in, uh, you can see here there's the mass of the boy, right here, mass of the boy times the speed of the boy, plus momentum of the grandma is not zero now. The grandma is moving, so her mass times her speed, or velocity, and it's in the same direction, so if this was plus 5, this would be plus 3, is going to be equal to their combined mass, because they're moving after the collision as one body, times the final speed, the final speed. And then you just add the numbers, uh, and you do the simple division there, and you, you get that their final speed is going to be 3.8 meters per second. So together now, after the collision, they're moving in the direction to the right, in the same direction in which they were moving, uh, at 3.8 meters per second. So you could say that grandma has sped up a little bit, she's moving a little faster, but the boy has slowed down um, in that collision. Uh, together as one system they are moving with their combined mass and speed of 3.8 meters per second to the right. 